We'll be building a full-fledged e-commerce platform using Spring Boot for the back end, React GS for front end, and at the same time, I'm also going to have an Angular and Vue.js implementation for the front end as well. So let's get to see the Figma design for this application. So I'll go to my Figma and this was a little design of what we'll be expecting. So in, let me just run this and see. So in our homepage, we are going to be having the product and you can as well also search for a product and it's going to display that product if it's available. Then you, we can add to cart. If you add a product to cart, it's going to add to cart. You can see in the cart, we have different products, the number of items that we added, the total amount, and here we have the checkout and the cart summary. So at the same time, you can also go to the category page where you have different categories. So when you click a category, it's going to show you all products in that category. Also, when you click on a product, you can see the product details. I don't have that design here, but that implementation is on ground. Then as well, you can log in, you can register, then you can view your account as well. So in your account, you can view your booking history. You can track each of the item that we ordered. So that is that. Then as also, you also have pagination as well as there are a lot of items and you can move to different page to see each item. Also in the admin page, you can see here, this is not a complete design, but this is an, a surface design. Admin, if you log in as an admin, you get to this, you have access to this page. Here you can manage a category, a product or an order. So for a category, you can add a new category, you can edit, you can delete. You can do the same thing for a product, add, edit, delete. And here we can see we have our page over here. Then I swear you can also manage orders. So that's the job of an admin. So you can see all the orders that a user have booked. Is it booked or order? Okay, all the order user have ordered. Yeah. So you can see different orders. You can change this history. You can view the details here, which I didn't write that design, but that's there. You can click on details, see the details of the order. From the details, you are going to see the address where the order will be shipped to. You are going to see the users who made that order. And you are going to see a lot of details there. Then you can also filter by different status here, can be category, name, date. You can also search by different status. You can also change the status of an order. Let's say an order was moved from pending to confirmed. You can change that and the user is going to see it on his dashboard. So yeah, so those design, I didn't have enough time to put them here, but they are all on the implementation. So let's get into it.